Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we are back with the another lecture of the polymer solubility. Last lecture में हमने polymer solubility के बारे में जो basic चीजें थी वो discuss की थी. Now today we will discuss the major factors. कौन कौन से factors जो actually they have the important role in dissolving a polymer in a given solvent. So पॉलीमर सॉलिबिलिटी में जैसे हमने कहा था कि दैट वी द पॉलीमर एक्ट इज सोल्यूट एंड वी हैव टू डिजोल्व दैट इन अ गिवन सॉल्वेंट सो फॉर पॉलीमर सॉलिबिलिटी इट इट ऑकर्स इन टू स्टेप्स स्टेप नंबर वन सो पॉलीमर सॉलिबिलिटी इट इन्वॉल्व टू मेजर स्टेप नंबर वन जब हम पॉलीमर को डिजोल्व करते हैं वंस वी डिजोल्व द सॉल्वेंट सो वट वंस वी डिजोल्व द पॉलीमर इन ए गिवन सॉल्वेंट एक सॉल्वेंट में हम इसको डाल देते हैं सो वॉट है उसके बाद पॉलीमर जो है इट टेक्स द सॉल्वेंट इट एब्सॉर्ब द सॉल्वेंट इट टेक्स अप द सॉल्वेंट यानी पॉलीमर के जो मॉलिक्यूल्स है जो चेन्स है दे विल टेक अप द सॉल्वेंट दे विल एब्सॉर्ब द सॉल्वेंट नंबर वन वन इज द एब्सॉर्ब द सॉल्वेंट व्हाट इट डज इट रिजल्ट्स इन स्वेलिंग ऑफ द स्वेलिंग यानी वो जो पॉलीमर चेन्स है दे विल गेट स्वेल्ड अप दैट मीन्स दे विल फॉर्म ए स्वोल जेल so you have a swollen gel formed so you will get a swollen gel jo normal solutes hote hain chahe wo ionic ho ya covalent compounds ho unko dissolve kar lete hain this is not the behavior in those cases but in case of polymers once you dissolve your polymer in a given solvent what it does it takes up the solvent and it swells up and then it forms a swollen gel to aapke paas ek gel like material ban jata hai this is step number 1 now in this step number 2 uske baad uh let us first try to understand this through as uh, a cartoon this is a polymer where number of chains are together in a polymer so what it does when it dissolve this in a solvent it will take the solvent molecules so this is solvent molecules will dissolve this so these chains they will absorb the solvent molecules these chains is it kya hota they will get swelled up so swell means unka jo overall diameter hai that will you see the bigger one this is one one chain now this is another chain now because they are getting swelled up this is another chain now ab swelling se kya hota they will move apart now so they have they are moving apart you could see here that they are moving apart because their diameter is increasing their radius is increasing because they are getting swelled up so now in the state the stage number 1 step number 1 that you have a you have swollen gel now the polymer chains they have swelled up theek uske baad kya hota next when they swell up they are absorbing water absorbing water absorbing water ek stage pe kya hoga ki they will break down they will burst ye jo aapke swelled uh, polymers hai they will burst up swelled chains so second step is that that you have this uh, you have breakage of or you have breakage of breakage of the swollen gel jo aapka upar gel ban gaya that is getting breaked swollen gel once it gets breaken down it merges with the solvent that means it dissolves so then what it does once it gets broken down the molecules are the so the molecules are the chains they will mix with the solvent they will merge with the solvent merge with the solvent molecules with solvent molecules and then hence they will get dissolved so finally they will get dissolved now you have the dissolved polymer so you have a solution form like that so they will get broken down and then finally you have a polymer solution and we know jo bhi process hota hai universe mein ye tabhi spontaneous hota hai in this case also you will also have the process spontaneous that is the polymer will get converted to the solution only when the free energy change is change in the free energy that should be negative that is decrease in the free energy should take place ye decrease in the free energy jo hai i will not go into the mathematical part of it ye depend karta hai into on many factors for example we'll discuss the factors now so it depends on many factors this decrease in the free energy it depends on many factors 
एक अहम फैक्टर ये होता है दैट इज नंबर वन फैक्टर दैट इज द नेचर ऑफ पॉलीमर एंड द सॉल्वेंट नेचर ऑफ पॉलीमेंट पॉलीमर इट डिपेंड्स ऑन नेचर ऑफ पॉलीमर आपने जो पॉलीमर डिजोल्व करना है इन ए गिवन सॉल्वेंट व्हाट इज द नेचर ऑफ पॉलीमर एंड द नेचर ऑफ सॉल्वेंट ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर है एज फर एज द पॉलीमर सॉल्विट इज कंसर्न इसके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट याद ये रखना है कुछ पॉलीमर्स होते हैं दे आर नॉन पोलर एंड देर आर सर्टन पॉलीमर्स आर पोलर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टेक नेचुरल रबर इफ आई टेक नेचुरल रबर सो नेचुरल रबर इज लिख नहीं रहे जो नेचुरल रबर होता है दैट इज नॉन पोलर and then we have uh, another polymer like uh, polyacrylonitrile polyacrylonitrile now that polyacrylonitrile because of nitrile group this is polar so is case mein if you use a polar solvent there be polar polar interaction between the polymer molecules and the solvent molecules so the like like interaction we know that is favorable interaction so the polymer will dissolve easily that means in this case the free energy will be negative so this will favor this uh, natural rubber to get dissolved in a non polar solvent likely if you have a polyacrylonitrile which is a polar molecule it needs a polar solvent like methanol so since methanol is polar you can dissolve this in a polar solvent so polar polar interaction like like interaction that will that will be favorable it will result in decrease in the free energy so that means you will have a good solubility so that means methanol will act as a good solvent for the polyacrylonitrile same is the case for natural rubber you can use the solvent like uh, for example use a natural solvent like uh, which is uh, non polar mm, you can use benzene like solvent so we let us take benzene it's a non polar solvent so use benzene which is a non polar solvent so when you dissolve this in this because both are non polar so they it will get dissolved easily so we have decrease in the free energy in this case that is negative value so that means benzene will act as a good solvent for non polar molecule agar hum ab cross mein dekhenge so methanol will act as a Uh, it is not a good solvent that means it is a non solvent for natural rubber likely if you want to dissolve polyacrylonitrile in benzene they will not dissolve same is the case here because the interactions are not favorable but if you go this way so benzene is a good solvent for natural rubber methanol is a good solvent for polyacrylonitrile so the nature of the solvent and the polymer is one of the important factors that actually uh, is helpful in predicting the solubility of a given polymer because in that case the free energy results in negative that is there is a decrease in the free energy during the solubilization process so this is step number 1 now let us go to the step this is the factor number 2 factor number 2 jo hai that plays an important role in the solubility that is uh, There's some problem with this markers. So the factor number two, that is molecular mass of polymer. Molecular mass of polymer. यहाँ सिंपल है क्योंकि molecular mass अगर बढ़ जाता है जितना और हमें पता है कि solvent molecules उनका size बहुत छोटा है. So that means there is interaction between very small molecules and a larger polymer molecule. So the solubility will less. So simple rule ये है that if Uh, that the relation between molecular mass and the solubility is almost inverse it's like inverse solubility means ek polymer kisi bhi solvent mein that is less soluble if the molecular weight of polymer is more so if the molecular weight of the polymer increases the solubility decreases if the molecular weight of a polymer is less the solubility is very very high third so third factor jo hai that is the क्रिस्टलाइन नेचर दैट इज द नेचर ऑफ द पॉलीमर दैट इज द क्रिस्टलाइन नेचर ये भी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर है क्रिस्टलाइन नेचर मीन्स जिसे हमने पढ़ा था कि पॉलीमर कैन बी क्रिस्टलाइन और इट कैन बी एमार्फस सो पॉलीमर कैन बी क्रिस्टलाइन और इट कैन बी एमार्फस 
सो आज थोड़ा सा पेन दे आर नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली एमॉर्फस हमने डिस्कस किया था क्रिस्टलाइन मीन्स जब पॉलिमर चेंज दे आर अलाइंड इन अमेट्रिकल फैशन दे आर ओरिएंटेड इन स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन सो इट गिवस देम ए क्रिस्टलाइन नेचर अदरवाइज अ पॉलिमर इज नॉट ए मॉर्फस क्रिस्टलाइन के केस में क्या होता है द चेंज आर अलाइन प्रॉपरली ठीक दे हैव ए प्रॉपर ओरिएंटेशन चेंज के बीच में इंट्रैक्शन आर देयर सो क्रिस्टलाइन नेचर अगर पॉलिमर में होगा देन इट इज यूजली लेस सॉलेबल इन दिस केस it is difficult to dissolve a crystalline polymer because you need the energy to destroy the crystalline structure so crystalline nature of the polymer means we they have the less solubility oh yeah there some problems with the pens now so they have less solubility while as it if it is the amorphous polymer then there is more solubility more soluble क्योंकि क्रिस्टलाइन के नेचर के केस में हमें पहले क्रिस्टलाइन स्ट्रक्चर को ब्रेक करना है वंस वी डिसॉल्व द पॉलीमर वंस इट गेट्स ब्रोकन उसके बाद द सॉलिबिलिटी स्टेप ऑफ द पॉलीमर विल स्टार्ट तो इतने स्टेप्स क्रिस्टलाइन नेचर को ब्रेक करना इनटू द पॉलीमर फॉर्म देन पॉलीमर को कन्वर्ट करना इनटू द सॉलिबलाइज्ड फॉर्म इट दैट रिकर्स ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी दैट मींस इट इज लेस फेवरेबल वाइल एज अ मॉर्फस कैन डायरेक्टली इंटरेक्ट विद सॉल्वेंट सो दैट्स मोर सॉलिबल सो द लास्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर जो है इसमें एक चौथा फैक्टर भी है there is one more factor there's a problems so four factor jo hai that is the flexibility of polymer chain i'm sorry that today the pens are not working let us write here the fourth factor so the factor number 4 that is the flexibility of the polymer chain factor number 4 that is the oh, sorry today pen kuch kuch mamla aisa chal raha they are not working so i'm using so many pens they are not working so the last factor is the flexibility of the polymer chain flexibility 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 of polymer chain this is your flexibility so the factor number 4 that is the flexibility of polymer kya means what do you mean by the flexibility of polymer means kuch polymers aise hote hain jo bahut rigid hote hain aur kuch polymers aise hote hain they are very much flexible means flexible polymers for example if you have uh, a polymer like uh, विच इज वेरी मच फ्लेक्सीबल मीन्स उसमें आप स्ट्रेच भी कर सकती हो पॉलिमर को इजिली यू कैन रिगेन वंस यू रिगेन दैट स्ट्रेचिंग इट विल कम बैक टू इट इज ऑरिजिनल पोजिशन तो फ्लेक्सीबल पॉलिमर के केस में क्या होता है कि द पॉलिमर चेन्स दे आर फ्री टू मूव दे आर फ्लेक्सीबल दैट मीन्स द चेन्स के बीच में जो इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स होता है वो बहुत वीक होता है फ्लेक्सीबल पॉलिमर में जो पॉलिमर चेंज होते हैं उनके बीच में जो इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स होता है बहुत वीक होता है या इट्स ऑलमोस्ट एब्सेंट तो जैसे आप इसको डिजोल्व कर लेते हो तो ये पॉलिमर भी इट कैन इंटरेक्ट विद दी दे कैन इजली डिजोल्व दे कैन इजली डिफ्यूज इन द सॉल्वेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स जब ये डिफ्यूज हो जाती है तो नाउ देर इंट्रैक्शन बिटवीन सॉल्वेंट एंड पॉलिमर चेंज इज वेरी इजी बिकॉज पॉलिमर चेंज कैन इजली गेट डिफ्यूज इन द सॉल्वेंट ये सारी चीज अगर इनके बीच में इंट्रैक्शन स्ट्रांगर है तो ये इनका डिफ्यूज होना और इंडिविजुअलिटी में कन्वर्ट होना इज वेरी द चांसेस आर वेरी वेरी लेस सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट प्रॉब्लम दैट इफ यू हैव द क्रॉस लिंकिंग इफ यू हैव द बॉन्डिंग बिटवीन द पॉलिमर चेन्स इफ यू क्रॉस लिंकिंग बिटवीन द पॉलिमर चेन्स यू नीड द एनर्जी टू सेपरेट दीज चेन्स वो एक बार वो सेपरेट हो जाएंगी उसके बाद दे विल गेट डिफ्यूज एंड देन दे विल इंट्रैक्ट द सॉलिमेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स देन दे विल अंडर गो डिजोल्यूशन सो इस केस में यू रिक्वायर लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी कंप्यूर टू दिस इफ यू हैव ए फ्लेक्सीबल पॉलिमर जहां पॉलिमर की चेन्स के बीच में फोर्स ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन इज वीक आर देर इज नो क्रॉस लिंकिंग दे कैन इजली गेट डिफ्यूज इन टू द पॉलिमर सोल्यूशन एंड द मॉलिक्यूल सॉलिड मॉलिक्यूल कैन इंट्रैक्ट विद दिस चेन्स एंड देन यू हैव द सॉलिबिलिटी सो फ्लेक्सीबल पॉलिमर दे आर बेटर सॉलिबल कंप्यूर टू द रिजिड पॉलिमर्स ठीक सो this is uh, all about the 
major factors which are responsible for polymer solubility. Again, I will discuss polymer ko dissolve karne ke liye. There are two steps. In the first step, the polymer will uh, absorb the solvent molecules. It gets swelled up. It will form a swollen gel. In the second step, the swollen gel that actually will get disrupted. That will get uh, 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 broken down and then the molecules of the polymer they will interact with the solvent they will get merged with the solvent and you have a soluble gel that is you have the solubilized polymer so in this process ko, uh, driven karne ke liye, it should happen thermodynamically that is delta G has to be negative or that delta G means decrease in the free energy should take place for that it depends on the nature of the polymer that's and the solvent number one if you are like polar polar that is solvent is polar and your polymer is polar then it will get dissolved if solvent is non-polar your polymer is non-polar it will get dissolved if the case is otherwise if the if the polymer is polar solvent is non-polar then they will not get dissolved easily number two if molecular weight of polymer is more the solubility is less number third factor if polymer is crystalline the solubility is less and if polymer is amorphous solubility is more because you require energy in case of crystalline polymer to uh, to dislodge the crystalline structure. Number four depends on the flexibility of the polymer. That is, agar polymer ke beech mein there are um, cross linking, or there are strong forces involved. Us case mein aapko pehle in chains ko break karna padega, us force ko break karna padega. Then the the polymer chains will they will diffuse in the solvent, and the solvent molecules interact the polymer, and that will get dissolved. So flexible polymer ke case mein it will get easily dissolved. But if the polymer is rigid. That is, if there is cross-linking involved, then you require large amount of energy to dissolve the polymer. That means the solubility of polymer is less. So these are the four factors on which the polymer solubility depends. So this is all for the day. Uh, these are the basic things which are imp required in any exam uh, or which may come as far as the polymer solubility is concerned. Hope you have enjoyed the topic. This is all for the day.